but for all practical purposes, I was a grunt, an infantry soldier with a map and a compass and a radio. And with that map and the compass, I could keep up with exactly where we were on the ground. And with the radio, I was in constant contact with my uh, artillery batter back on a, a fire base. Order observer is uh, usually a lieutenant that's received uh, artillery training in how to operate artillery pieces like the 155 or 105 howitzer. Uh, and as a forward observer, uh, I and one, one is attached to usually an infantry company, which in Vietnam was amounted, usually amounted to three uh, 40 man platoons. The forward observer's uh, job to if the infantry company runs in to a firefight with the enemy, the NVA, that's the North Vietnamese Army, then it would be my job to try to call in for artillery fire and sometimes jet aircraft, uh, Cobra gunships, uh, to suppress the enemy uh, and protect the infantry unit. In Vietnam, in the jungle, I couldn't see 30 feet. So I didn't need any binoculars. And uh, it was all done by ear. It's almost like turkey hunting back home. You hear a turkey gobble, and you turn and move towards that turkey until you get close enough to hunt it. Uh, in Vietnam, I would hear them shooting at us with mortar fire, for example, which would usually be uh, half a mile away or so and then they would try to move in on us. So if I could hear it, I'd point my compass at, at that sound, plot it on the map, relay that map coordinate, that eight place, eight digit map coordinate, which should be within 10 yards, and then call for fire. First round of lumen, or a smoke round, a thousand meters high. In case I was wrong, we, we don't want to start out the first round being high explosive and blow yourself away. So. And then I'd work it in from there. So that's that's what I did. My weapon was a compass and a map and a radio. Though so I carried an M16, I was ready to use it.